Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how you can get iPhone 10 features on an older iPhone. So first off, what you want to do is open Safari. Next, search for ipa-apps.me and scroll down to uncover version 8.0.2 and type on get over and over again until it works. And if it takes you to an ad, just close out of it. And once it takes you to this page, just wait for it to load. And after that, press on skip this ad tap on it over and over again until it asks you to install uncover and press on install and now you can see that it'll be downloading and once it's downloaded you could try opening it but it's going to say that the developer is untrusted so what you want to do is open settings next go down to general next scroll down to the bottom and tap on device management and press on the top tap on trust tap on trust again and now the app will be trusted so now you can open it and next tap on jailbreak and this step is actually the hardest because you have to do it over and over again until it works and it could take anywhere from a few minutes to a full hour but once it goes through all 32 steps just x out of the ad and it'll say that the jailbreak has completed and no errors secured so press on ok and now your device will restart once it restarts go ahead and log back in and once you've logged in, you'll see that there's now going to be two new apps. And the app that you want to open is Cydia. Next, tap on Sources and tap on Edit and press on Add. And over here, type in repo.pakix.com. And once you've done that, press on Add Source and just wait for this to load. And next, press on Return to Cydia and you'll see that there's going to be a new source added so what you want to do next is search for Neptune and once you've done that press on Neptune for iPhone and press on modify and tap on install and press on confirm and now just wait for this to load and press on restart springboard and now your device will restart once it's restarted you'll see that there's going to be new features like there's going to be new buttons at the bottom like the flashlight and camera and if you unlock your iPhone and you go back to the home screen, you could actually use App Switcher by swiping up. And you could also use Control Center by swiping down from the corner. And there is actually a way you could get Face ID. And to do it, what you want to do is go back into Cydia. And next, press on Sources. Tap on Edit and press on Add. And over here, type in julioverne.github.io and make sure to spell it correctly because it is a bit complicated. And after that, press on Add Source. And once this loads, you just press on Return to Cydia. And now you'll see that the Julio Verne source has been added. So what you want to do is go back into the search area and search for Appellancy. And once you've searched it up, press on Appellancy iOS 11 and press on Install and tap on Confirm. And after this, press on Restart Springboard. And now your iPhone will restart. Once it restarts, go ahead and log back in. And once you've done that, you'll see that there's going to be a new app called Appellancy. Go ahead and open it. And I did create my own face ID earlier, so I'll be deleting that. And next, press on the plus icon at the top right corner and name this whatever you like. Once you've done that, press on the top button and press on OK. Then press on start. And when it asks you for your camera, press on OK and just start scanning your face and you want to do this four times in four different places so that every time you use face id and the lighting is different it'll still recognize your face and in the end you should have a total of 20 saved images so now if i turn off my iphone and i turn it back on you can see that it'll scan your face using face id